Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. I did put this one in the account, boys, earlier this week. Put a three and a half in on the Bears. It is gone. It is three across the board. Now 45 is the total. This was a pretty easy play for me. It is a team that is, honestly, over the second half of the season, I think we'd say it's an upper half team. The Bears have been playing like an upper half team for the vast majority of the second half of the season. Whether we believe that Fields is going to actually be there next year or not, it is still, you know, that's that's up to them to decide. But he certainly has a lot to play for here, whether it be for the audition to stay in Chicago or for whatever his next team may or may not be. And frankly, the Packers, um, their offensive performances have been just so incredibly up and down, but the defense has just been horrible over the last eight weeks of the year. And so all of that came to me getting more than a field goal on the Bears. I wouldn't hate it at three on the Bears, but obviously not near as good as it is on the uh, on the other side of that. Adam, you have anything here on Bears and Packers? Yeah, over 45. Uh, mm -hmm. I, it's exactly what you're just talking about. I, I think we can see that this Green Bay offense is at least in a eh, we we'll call it something of a rhythm. I don't want to get too excited about going yeah. against a, a, a defense last week in Minnesota that's boom or bust. But like you said, what we've seen out of Chicago is that the offense is competent, and we know that Green Bay's defense is wholly incompetent. Uh, you can't go by last week at all where fake Sharp was throwing a, a rookie out there and then switching at halftime. So I think you're yes. definitely looking at a game that is going to include points on both sides. Steven, what you say here in uh, Bears-Packers? I like Bears, but I need a number, and I'll tell you a couple of reasons why. I need at least three and a half here for the Bears. I'm not interested at three. I think he even was dipping a little bit lower than that. I think this is as we get closer to kickoff, this will more and more gain Packers support because this is pretty much the cleanest injury report. There's still a million players on the injury report, but it's it's very positive compared to previous weeks. Even Christian Watson is getting some limited practices in. Wicks and Reed look like they're going to play at wide receiver. A um, bunch of other guys on here that look like full participants. Jair Alexander, namely at cornerback. On the on the other side here for the Bears, their defense has been incredible. Like past eight weeks, they are the number one defense in the NFL by both EPA and success rate. And I think some of us may, not us in this room, but generally speaking out there in NFL world, uh, may not realize the run that the Bears are on right now. They were two double-digit leads in the fourth quarter away from having a seven-game winning streak right now. They've won five of seven, and both of those losses were blown big leads in the fourth quarter. If it wasn't for that, this team would be in the playoffs right now. So they're playing they're playing good football. but. Bad timing with a really important injury as well for them this week. Jalen Johnson, the number one graded cornerback by PFF this year, is back-to-back -back DMPs with a shoulder injury on Wednesday and Thursday. I would really feel a lot better about this bet if he's going to play combined with the positive injury report with the, with the Packers wide receivers. So that's why I prefaced my bet with I need at least three and a half here. That's what I bet earlier this week. I would not still bet it at three where we're at right now, Friday afternoon. If uh, just to tidy up some things, if you're watching this as an individual game video, sorry. Um, but if you're listening to us over the whole just came through, Will Levis out. It will be Ryan Tannehill going for the Titans. Um, so if that changes your opinion at all in that game, uh, that is officially going to it be does not a for Tannehill. Me. Yeah, it's going to officially be a Tannehill game in that one.